so these kind of areas here are where, well, I guess all the pirates when they come off have their camp. So they're not really quite permanent structures, just but more a place where they all come and crash out after they've been at the tavern. Uh, so uh, there's kind of the walrus camp, which is Flint, where Flint's crew stays. Um, and there's also the ranger camp, which is where like Vane, Rackham and Anne Bonny are all staying. Yeah, well, I play Captain Flint and uh, he is the captain of the walrus, um, a pirate ship. And uh, the, most of the plot takes place around the island of Nassau in the Bahamas, which is like a kind of hub for, it's like a, fen a place where they fence all the stolen goods. Um, and uh, he, Captain Flint is, a, is the chief pirate on the island at the time. He, he's the sort of the top ranking pirate. Uh, he makes the most profit. But when we meet him in episode one, He's had a sustained period, fallow period, where he hasn't really um, been performing too well. So uh, there's uh, there's like a, a you know he he's he's on rocky ground, and there are other pirates who are trying to take over from him. All right, so this is uh, well, this is the ocean. Uh, it will, through the magic of computer generation, continue off into the distance there. Uh, but this is where after the big ships plant in the bay we kind of row up to the jetty here and start unloading all the goods I mean it's incredible there's I don't know how you can compare this to you know to anything else it's just it feels like a fully living breathing world that we get to go and inhabit every day um, when we first came here because we came over at the end of last year while we were still in pre-production and we started boot camp so while well, we were going over um, our training and so it's kind of interesting to see you know, the beach being built and it's kind of slowly develop and then there'd be a bit more dressing on the set and then the ships would kind of come together and get painted and then we'd get to go on them for the first time. So it was great being here to see it evolve. Um, it was very different when we first came to how it is now. I had always kind of wanted to do a pirate show. Um, nobody had really done it, um, and uh, it felt really kind of ripe to be um, to be explored. That there was really no version of as many pirate movies as there are, and as many pirate cliches as there are. Um, no one had ever really looked at that world um, through a, a much grittier, sort of realistic lens, um, which seemed cool to me. It seemed like it, in a world that was so kind of cartoonized, what did those people actually? live like and, and sort of what were, what's the, what were the realities of that world. And so we ended up reading, you know, we did a ton of research and we sort of settled into this idea of, um, you know, rather than having it be completely historical, um, attaching it to um, existing literary figures. And sort of once we settled into Flint and Silver, it started to kind of take shape. The first day I, I arrived on set, I was completely speechless. I just never imagined that we would have this type of homogenous world because I, when I'm on set and I'm in a scene, I, I know exactly where everything in this town is. I know exactly where the beach is. I know where the Tanners is, where the Coopers is, where the blacksmiths are, uh, where, you know, Mr. Fraser, the, you know, where I can go and value my goods. And for me, that gives you a very big kind of picture as an actor, and you can have a greater sense of belief in lots of ways. Many things to get into and... Yeah, the sports have been in sport, by the way, so we're really late. Um, if you want to go in... Yeah. 